What is up everyone? Jay here and welcome back to Sunrider Academy. It is currently like what? Fucking four in the morning and I'm playing this. But anyways, even though it's morning for well, technically nightish still for over here, it's morning for Kato when it's time for school. And as you can tell, I just oh we actually start with something. But yeah, oh it's month eight already. Really? Oh yeah, because we that's where we did slave off. Uh, we may finish this in one game, actually. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I literally just woke up and I said, Hey, I just recorded a whole shit ton of Sunrider yesterday. I want to see what happens. Let me record some today. So, yes, there's going to be a shit ton of pre-recorded. But anyways, fuck off calendar and fuck off holo. Before I knew it, month eight had arrived. The student council was busy preparing for the culture festival. As the leaves outside turned red, I couldn't help but feel like I was running out of time. I gave Asuka a poke. Hey, Asuga. Oh my god, I can't do girl voices now. Um, it's gonna sound weird. Okay, let's see if I can try to build it up. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? Oh my god, it's gonna sound horrible. The culture festival's this month, huh? Do you have any ideas what the Kendo Club was gonna do? Uh... Um... About that... Actually, it looks like I'm gonna be leaving on week three of day... Why so soon? It's week three. Day six, my girl, no. <laughs> Sorry, you'll just have to handle the culture festival without me, Kato. What? Was she serious? I had thought that she would at least stay until the end of the school. Yeah, like, that's what I was thinking too, but fucking hell, man. This is too sudden, Asuka. You can't just tell me that you're gonna vanish in three weeks. Sorry, sorry. Shigara walked over. Oh, this is this one's gonna be even harder. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Asuka's going to be gone so quick! Oh god, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Chigara's face scrunched up, and big drops of tears welled in her eyes. <laughs> I can't make the noise. <laughs> my voice can't go that high. I just fucking woke up. <laughs> oh my god. She ran outside the class, covering her face. Ah, oh, not again. I angrily turned to Asuga. Now look what you've done! You made Chigara cry again! Uh, Chigara! <coughs> <coughs> my god. Holy shit, this isn't gonna end well, cause fucking hell, my voice, man. My voice. Asuga stood from her chair and chased after her. I threw my hands up in dismay. I couldn't believe it. Gone in just three weeks? Frustration boiled inside me. Not only was the Kendo team dependent on Asuga to lead them in the culture festival, but the national championships were coming up too. Uh, without Asuga, everything was going to fall apart. How could she just disappear? It was just... it just wasn't possible. I don't see how I didn't get like five stress. Or should I eat lunch? It's a new week, Kato, so guess what? You gotta do homework. Yeah, do your homework, son. Yeah, get that smartness, son. So, like, my question is, what the fuck happens to- I, I have to be able to, like, stop her, right? Cuz... How- well, how else is the game going? I literally just sit here, click, click, click for the rest of the game, and that, that's pretty much it, because... Because, like, the fuck? Anyways, um... Let's go to the gym and raise that morale, man. Good. Because it's like... I have to save her... Well, not... It's not really save... I guess saving? I don't know what it would be called. Like, I guess I have to... Do something. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta do something, guys. I gotta do something. Oh, fucking hell! Oh, there we go. What's my stress looking like, man? Seven? That's not bad. I don't know why that happened. I'm not going to say, but, uh, good, I lost three stress. Okay, it's morning, time for school. Back to the happy-go-lucky music, where should I eat? You're not eating, you're doing your own work. There you go. 
Now you can eat whatever you want for the rest of the week, I believe. Yeah, because we only get two homeworks. Um, let's go raise my charisma, because that shit fell down. I don't know why, but it just did. Let's go oversee practice here. There we go. That's more like it. What a busy day. Fell in much sleep. Yes, three stress. One intelligence and one fitness. One char I just earned that charisma, you bitch game. <sighs> God damn it. Now you can eat wherever you want, Kato. Uh, let's see. I gotta go earn my charisma back, cause fucking hell, game. I had to just like take it away from me. Let's go raise the morale there. Uh, busy day. I went to sleep. Oh, I have the day off today. Isn't that nice? I mean, I'm not really stressed, and I don't really need money at the moment. So let's go try to just build morale. And let's do it again. Let's oversee practice. God damn it, what is with the swim club lately? Uh, God damn, man. Let's go and get some luck. Maybe, oh, hey, Murray Games, man. No fucking hell. I don't know how Murray works. She's, she's fucking weird, man. Anyways, so sleep, I lost some smartness. It's weekend. Good, so I can go and I can pray and get some more luck. Okay, how much my luck look am I now? 13, I can do it again. Uh, good. I don't have that much stress. Try to oversee practice again. Why is the swim team so off today? Like, what the fuck is wrong with them? I honestly don't know. Like, what the shit, man? No raise morale. Uh, joke. There we go. And stress, fitness, good, I didn't lose the luck, because I fucking need that the most. Because it's just been very unlucky. Okay, it's a new week, so you gotta do your homework, Kato. Okay. Oh, new thing. I sat in the council room, pulling my hair out as I looked through the possible candidates to replace Asuka as the club captain. <sighs> I lost my temper and threw my holo across the table. What the hell was I doing? I already knew nobody could replace her. She was my girlfriend. The person I cared the most about. There was nobody else in the world who could make me feel the same. Tears began to line my eyes. Shit, I couldn't do this. I stood from my chair and took a breather by walking over to the window. What could I do? I remember what Asuka's dad told me before he passed. Young man. Asuka will doubtlessly trouble you, but watch over her with all your heart. I'm trying, but she's not letting me in. She's closed herself off to all her friends. It's like talking to a brick wall. That girl has been through hard times. Do not be so hard on her. I want to help her. There's got to be a way. If only she listened to her friends. She is strong-willed and fiercely independent. Her wild heart cannot be tamed so easily. Only the kindest, wisest man will be able to hold her. If trying to convince her to stay won't work, maybe I should try the opposite? Reverse psychology could work her? Uh, work here? Oh, so we're gonna tell her to leave? Oh, fucking hell, I don't know how that will work. I'll just pretend to accept her departure and act like everything was totally alright. And when the time comes, maybe she'll finally realize how much she likes me and change her mind. I knew that if Asuka cared for me just as much as I cared for her, maybe when the time came, she'll change her mind on her own accord. I just had to put my faith in her. Yeah, pretty much. She was just random enough to do that anyways. <laughs> Looks like you've thought of something, young man. Well, seeing now, seeing how everything else I've done haven't worked, I'll have to try this. Thanks for talking to me again, Ghost of Asuka's dad. Finally, it's actually a ghost. Maybe he'll help me out in the future, too. No problem. Alright, at least that was the plan for now. I picked up my holo and saw the form I was in the middle of drafting. Potential candidate for replacement. Hovered over the file tab. Delete document. I pressed the button. Asuka, I haven't given up on you yet. Yeah, 
We're always gonna be there for you, Asuka. How's my stats looking okay? Let's go and let's most of our mal here. More mal, more mal, yes, we have more mal here. You better work! Okay, like, I I don't know, maybe it's the morale, I, I don't know. Let's reminisce, Moray. Yeah, there you go. Busy day, go to sleep. Okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, we're moving through this pretty fast. Uh, maybe there'll be two more episodes like this, and the next episode will be the last for Asuka's route. I don't know. Nine for school. It'll go a lot faster with the other routes, because I'll be skipping around, but this is the first route, so I just want to get everything in there, you know? Anyways, you got a homework, Kato, so go do that shit. Anyways. Let's go, and let's try to... Raise morale. Let's do it again. Have a busy day, I'm sleep, stress, time for school again. Should I eat? You've done all your homework? Yes, so uh, you can go eat lunch in the classroom. Yeah, let's um, go and let's try to raise them around here. Uh, oh wait, there's an exhibition today? Oh, it was time for a regional exhibition. If we placed here, we'll be able to move on to the national exhibition. Chigara placed ner uh, paced nervously as the members... Oh uh, yeah, I guess I should have been paying attention to the calendar, huh? And then the Kendo Regionals will be in one week. Wait, she's gonna leave week three, day six. That means she won't be here for the Kendo Tournament. Holy shit. Um, Chigara paced nervously as the members of the Science Club set up our display. Huh? <laughs> I gotta do this. We really should have tested the matter teleporter more. We'd be finished if it accidentally teleported the Topi off the... To oh, the toupee! Holy shit, man! The two, the toupee off the, off of one of the judges' heads. Yes, that would be bad. Don't worry. I don't think something like that will happen. <laughs> I was getting nervous myself. If we didn't place here, we'd be in quite a bit of trouble. I shook off my anxiety and tried to be optimistic. As club manager, I had to reassure the science club that our hard work would finally um, come into fruition. We've worked hard all year for this moment. I'm sure you'll be able to do it, Chigara. Okay. Ch Chigara will try her best. You must get at least, bro. Yes. I, you got this, Chigara. One, two. Yeah, you got it. Okay, good. Top hours are over for today. Yay. And the kendo is next. Right? So it's the kendo. And the swim isn't till here, so I can fucks with the kendo probably try to recruit people there we go let me try to get at least 40 members in there maybe that'll do me some good science radius went down it sucks anyways time for school how's your stress looking man five not too bad not too bad still week two so you don't have homework correct yeah okay good okay let's try to recruit another member good we got one let's try to recruit one more yeah two in a row that's good that's good I lost some charisma, god damn it. Oh, I have the weekend. Oh, I heard Marie at my door. Oi, Kate! Oh, oh my god. Uh, what? There was a package from Asuka at the door. Really? Oh. Things don't seem like they're going well between you two. Are you sure you're doing your best, Kato? Ray handed me a data stick. Anyways, here you go. Thanks. Now, what was in this data stick? I loaded it into my holo and opened its contents. Star Raider game content? What the? This is all Asuka's endgame items. There must be thousands of credits of content here. Some of this stuff here was so hard to unlock that they could be considered priceless. What was Asuka doing casually handing her prize collection over to me? And why now of all times? Oh shit. Suddenly, I had a bad feeling about this. I had to go see Asuka right now. Ray, I'm going to borrow your hover bike. Eh? I stood from my chair and ran out the door. I'm going to be out for a while. Kato! Mm. Oh well. Wow, just so well. I arrived at Asuka's home, just as I feared the place was completely abandoned. A schedule... 
Schedule for demolition sign was posted on the front door. Shit, so she really did just leave without telling anyone. No. Not the waifu. <laughs> just then I saw an Imperial Transport Shuttle take off in front of the house. That was Cullen's company, wasn't it? <laughs> I ran back to the hover bike and took off after the shuttle. Shit just got real, man. My sister's hover bike finally spurted and died as I arrived at the transit center. <sighs> Looks like I pushed it too hard. She was definitely going to make me buy her another one. But that was my that was the least of my problems right now. The shuttle was headed in this direction. The transit center was primary hub to get to Sarah to the National Starport. If Asuka really was going off world, then she would have to come here. I spotted the Imperial shuttle. I ran towards it and saw Asuka standing with two of Cullen's goons. I breathed a sigh of relief. I had made it in time. Asuka! Uh, Kato! How'd you find me? Never mind that! I thought you weren't supposed to leave until another week! Oh, how about that? <laughs> Sorry, a little scheduling error happened and it turned out I had to go earlier. I didn't want to create a scene, so I'd figured I'd just vanish. You know, just disappear with the wind, with no one on the morn for me. Plenty of people would have been even more upset by that, you moron! <sighs> My bad. Anyways, there you have it, Kato. I'm off now. Bye-bye! Are you crazy?! I rushed towards her, only to be grabbed by one of the enforcers. Ah, oh, shit! I tried fighting my way through him, but he was a trained professional. He easily knocked me off my feet and pressed me to the ground. Asuka! <laughs> the other <laughs> enforcer escorted her away as he held me down and handcuffed me. Holy shit, man, is that necessary? <laughs> she was getting away from me. Shit, was it really going to end this way? Was this really the limit of my power? No, this was still... I wasn't defeated yet! This isn't how this has to end! We all loved you just the way you were! Nobody wanted to see you change! Come back to me, Asuka! I know it's what you want! That's... but... My dad's not here to take care of me anymore. I can't stay here! I've gotta get a job! This is the only chance I'll have! Who cares?! Don't worry about it, I'm sure it'll work itself out somehow! Why fret about the little details when everyone wants you to stay? Class won't be the same without you fooling around, or fooling off and getting the teacher mad. Who's going to make kendo practice fun without you? How am I ever going to finish all the paperwork on the student council without you cheering me on? Every day, everyone wants to laugh with you. Okay, so stop worrying about the future and just have fun. Dot. Oh, Kato. If you keep saying stuff like that, I'll never be able to leave. That's the point, Asuka. We want you to stay. <laughs> Tell me, after all that you've told me about becoming a responsible adult, way to change your mind. Sorry, I was wrong. Asuka bent down and picked me up off the ground. All right, you're forgiven. <laughs> Cullen's going to be uh, blubbering over the holo for months now. Huh. Not to mention, the city is totally gonna bulldoze my place. Huh. No way, I'm gonna be homeless now. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll take care of you. I'll work my tail off so we can move into a place together. Eh? Huh? Kato's gonna be real busy from now, isn't he? If it's for you, I can handle it. All right! From now on, let's work double hard to make sure I don't become a hobo. <laughs> no, that'd be bad. But all right, I managed to convince her to stay. <sighs> that was a close one. If I hadn't gotten Asuka's data stick, she really could have moved away without me noticing. The enforcer guy undid my handcuffs. I put Asuka. I put my arms around Asuka. <laughs> Oh, by the way, how'd you find out that uh, I was gonna move today? Gee, speaking of that, if you seriously hadn't left that package for me today, I would have never guessed. What were you doing just giving me all your game items? 
You worked so hard getting that stuff. I can't believe you just throw them away because you were moving. Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? What are you talking about, you fool? There's no way I'd give a nub like you my custom mechs. Wow, oh, my heart, ow. And I use the word nub. I swear to God, this game knows she's the waifu. <laughs> They're like my children. Eh? But then, who left me that package? Just then, another Imperial transport shuttle appeared above us. It landed next to the other shuttle, picking up dust as its landing gears hit the ground. Its door slid open, revealing... Huh? We stared our jaws on the pavement as a dead man walking out of the interior of the shuttle. Oh my god, her dad's alive! <laughs> whoop the fucking yay I don't know what that was, but holy shit, guys! This game took 360s like 50 times, and now it's fucking amazing again! Her dad's alive! Holy shit! <laughs> Dad? I thought I said he died. I thought he was dead. M Mr. Okran? Oh. My, my. You two look like you've seen a ghost. No kidding. I thought you were... Leighton, my son. It is only the fire... It is only the fires of adversity... Adversity that this... That a... Oh my god. Cut. Let's do that again. It is only through the fires of adversity that a fleeting fancy is forged into love. I hope these last few weeks have taught you a valuable lesson. Ma, and more importantly, I've been waiting all my life to play that prank on my daughter's boyfriend. You... <coughs> I had a feeling. I had the sinking feeling it was a prank. But when I said he was dead, I was like, oh, well, fuck it. Never mind, man. Ooh. Ooh. I would have been. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, guys, but ooh. I'm not going to lie. I probably would have dropped to the floor and I would have. You know that weird tingling feeling when it's like, it's not that you're scared, but when you're like so shocked and it's like you're just tingling all over your body. I would have dropped to the floor and just shock. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I fell for the same trick twice now. Well, at least the first time he was actually playing and even Asuka kind of knew. But this time, we had to go to the hospital and everything. They really were like father and daughter. Dad! Asuka ran to her dad and hugged him. Well, well, do not cry, my daughter. But it would take nothing less than a bullet to the heart to bring this old geezer down. See? Asuka's dad raised his arm and flexed his muscles. <laughs> so happy guys I can almost cry but I gotta keep professional oh and by the way the city's gonna demolish our house now fear not my friends on the city council will see to that really thank goodness happy shit guys happy as fuck shit man oh my god in the end the only casualty of mr. Okran's plank ended up being my sister's hoverbike rest in peace my bright pink assistant of the day truly performed beautifully and now I prob I was probably going to be broke for the rest of the year buying my sister a new bike <sighs> she was going to hold this over my head for the rest of my life uh, no way oh my god such a happy moment guys and it's like happy music we have to commemorate this moment we have to save man Oh my god, I, I, I just can't believe it, like, I, 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 I'm lost for words, you'd expect them to be, I mean, I'd be happy as shit, you know, if you, like, they played a prank and, you know, oh, your parents back, because they were just kidding, but, I would have been mad afterwards, like, you scared the shit out of me, man, I was crying for weeks, anyways, but, you know, I'm just glad that he's alive, man, everything's all happy dandy and back to normal now. Some good shit, guys. Good shit. It's all thanks to you, Luck. 
No, actually it wasn't. You're not above 20, so fuck you, Luck. Anyways, uh... It's some happy shit, guys. It's some happy shit. Like, I can't believe that he's actually still back. Like, holy shit. It's like the happiest day of the game. Yeah, see, even the clubs are, like, cooperating with me now. Good. Quickly went to sleep. I would have lost all the stress after today. We can have the day off good, so I can go work on the clubs again. Oh! Did I skip something? I feel like I probably skipped something. Anyways, Asuka chugged down a bottle of soda. Yeah. Well, good thing everything turned out for the best, eh? Yes. I'm so glad Asuka's going to stay with us. Before anyone could as much a bad an eyelash, Asuka had returned to her old routine. A heap of unfinished homework lay follow her lay follow inside her desk. Every morning she bummed answers off a chigara instead. Club practices came to a screeching halt as Asuka spent all her time rolling around on the floor. The student council even scheduled to vote whether we should form a new department exclusively dedicated to dealing with the student complaints caused for her antics. Our old life was truly back. Asuka, what you do is tr cause trouble again. Haven't you learned your lesson? Don't be mean to Asuka, Mr. Manager. I, for one, like Asuka's trouble. I do too. No, Chigara. You're being way too soft on her. If she keeps this up, she's really going to be expelled from, from school. <laughs> mm, Kato, relax. I'm sure whatever happens, it won't be that big of a deal. Ah, uh, yes. That sure sounded like the girlfriend I knew. The master of starting or the master of staring down imminent academic doom and laughing off, laughing it off just as trifling little just a trifling little thing. Man, sorry guys, I'm not on par today. <laughs> what was I ever going to do with her? Suddenly, Oscar grabbed me by the tie and wheeled me in for a kiss. Ah! Oh, oh my! What was that for? You're going to make Chigara faint! Hey, you liked it, didn't you? Asuka. Too intense for Ch <laughs> Chigara! Oh, don't worry, Chigara. You'll get yours next time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Chigara's eyes glazed over and she fell to the floor. Oh, God! Ch Chigara! <laughs> I picked her up before she hit the floor. Are you alright? Uh, yes. I guess Chigara will have to. will just have to get used to this now. Asuga! Mm -hmm. Hey, so I make out with you, and the first thing you do is make a move on ch my Chigara? You suck! Ch Asuga pounded her fist against my back. I'm not making a move, I was just trying to keep her from getting hurt! Kato, you dummy! Ah, uh, yes. Our olden days, for the better or worse, had now resumed once more. Just what new adventures awaited this humble member of the student council? To tell the truth, I couldn't help but feel a little apprehensive about the misadventures which undoubtedly lied ahead. But I knew one thing. With Asuka at my side, I was going to have the time of my life. Yeah, happy shit, guys. Happy shit, happy shit. Yay! Everything's happy again. Everything's so sparkly, dandy, happy, man. I don't know what that was, but hey kendo's at the end of the week but let's let's see if we can work on that it's oversee practice man what why the game just doesn't like me today like it, it's really just deciding to fuck me over today isn't it uh you're not eating you're doing your homework man anyways yes uh, everything's going back to normal i feel so happy guys so happy Anyways, let's raise the morale. And let's oversee practice. Why? What is going on? Uh, I'm so confused. Like, what is going on, man? Uh, it's just not going up anymore. Like, what the fuck? The game is just deciding to take a shit on me now. Like, what the fuck? No. No, I don't know, man. It, it's, it's just not liking me. Maybe it's because of my luck. I don't know. I need some more luck, man. The luck always goes down the fastest. I don't know why it does that. It's so stupid. 
so stupid. Anyways, um, let's try to oversee practice. It's just not working lately, and I think I ran out of my charm, too, so that's nice. Uh, I don't have enough money to buy a new one, either. So, that's just, just work. Busy day, with sleep, blah, blah. I just lost luck. I didn't... Oh, uh, I think I did lose stress. I'm just losing luck off the ass, man! The fuck is up with my luck? I'm just not gaining anything good. Like, shit! You know, boost my charisma. Club should be fine. Let me just keep working, man. And the event is tomorrow, too. Um, so, I'm the only girl in the time to talk to. Oh, well, let's flirt, Murray. God damn it, Murray. I don't know what I need to get you to to fucking be super flirtable now. Like, what the hell? It's the weekend. Today is the day of national championships. Oh. Oh, shit. Temp job. Okay, now let's go get some luck. Oh, hey. Joke. There you go. Got it. Oh, wait, what? The, what? What was that? Hold on a second. That was the first that's ever happened. My luck is just going in the shitter. Anyways, cool for a while gathered. All right, we were at the national championships now. Finally, after a year of hard work, we had made it here. Could this be the moment of a triumph? Yo, Kato! Ha, we're finally here. The national championships. Didn't I say we'd make it here? Ho <laughs> ho ho, now watch me completely wipe the floor with these guys. So overconfident. Uh, yeah, exactly. And this was coming from the person who planned to just vanish without a trace earlier. I crossed my arms. Still too soon to be celebrating, Asuka. You still haven't even won. Besides, we'll need to get at least a silver here to make it to the Galactic Championships. Don't worry, Kato. This'll be a walk in the park! I sure hope so. I went to the bleachers and nervously awaited the results. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, we got gold. The barrels are over today. I knew my girl could do it. Anyways, let's... The next one is the swimming, and that's not until down here. Yes, not down there. Okay, so then we'll just... We'll just... We'll just work on the swimming, then. I don't even want to try to, like, you know, recruit members, because my stress is going to go through the fucking roof, and I don't know what that fucking thing with luck was, but that was the first time that's ever happened. I didn't think you could get a bad thing at luck, but I guess I was fucking wrong now, wasn't I? Anyways, no fuck-off items. I just need money. You go try to get some damn luck again. Five creds. What is with my luck?! I can't- what is with me?! I literally am getting fucked over now! Why?! Why is everything fucking me over all of a sudden?! Extracurricular closed now in session. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on, guys! Everything's just fucking me over now! Like, why?! Why?! Everything was working so well, and now it's just everything's going to shit! You know, fuck you, everything goes to shit now! Um, let's talk about gossip, Mori. There you go. Uh, dress, charisma, fitness. I'm losing charisma out the ass lately, so what? I don't know what's up with that, but that's some bullshit. Anyways, do your homework, Kato. Uh, okay. So let's try. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. We got somebody finally. Uh. Let's see if we can get another person. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's working now. I don't know what the fuck is up with it before. But to sleep at $45 so I can bum around. And, oh, today's the day of the culture festival. The Kendall Club will be putting on its display today. Oh. It was the first day of the culture festival. The gym was bustling with activity as the athletic clubs showed their accomplishments of the year. I found the Kendall Club's area. Yo, how's it going, Asuka? Oh, Kato! <laughs> good timing. I was just gonna start the demonstration. Asuka grabbed the real sword and walked to a taped and walked to a taped-off stage. 
Ugh. A helpless water man sat on top of the display stand. Zentetsukin! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Zentetsukin. Zentetsukin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a move in Kingdom Hearts, actually. <laughs> in a fury of cuts, Asuka sliced the watermelon into dozens of slices. She picked up a piece off the ground and gave it a taste. Yeah, tasty! The audience laughed at Asuka's joke. Things, things seem to be going all right here. Although I did never recall filing paperwork for a live demonstration. <sighs> Just thinking about the massive amount of paperwork Asuka's five-second display of swordsmanship would have required made my headache. Well, uh, I'll just carry on as if nothing, then. If I saw nothing, then, and pray that Ava doesn't notice. La la la, moving on. Uh, what, what was that? Did, did I, did I gain a member, or did, what, what, what happened? <laughs> no, uh, I guess I just lost stress. Lunchtime, where should I eat? You can go do your fucking homework, you bitch. Anyways, uh... Stress plus one? What? Why? Stress plus one? Why? What, what? What is this? And why is it giving me stress? <laughs> why? God damn it! I have 21 fucking stress! Oh my god, no! No, 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 no! Can I recruit? Nah, I expected as much. What a busy day. Oh, you're gonna get sick, man. Oh, maybe not. You lost three. I might just keep bumming around. Morning, time for the culture festival. The science will be putting on its display today. Stress? God damn it. Lunchtime, where should I eat? You did your homework, so you can eat in the classroom and try to lose one of those stresses for the day. Another plus stress. Another plus stress. So now I'm at 22 stress. Let's... Let's try to recruit. Nope. My busy day fell I went to sleep. Three stress. I have 21 stress. Not bad. I don't think I'll get sick. Morning time for school, last day of the culture festival, swim club we're putting on this display. Stress, what should I eat? You can eat in the classroom. Stress, stress. And I have forty-five dollars. Let's go and Yeah, let's go buy an ergo or a roge or whatever. And and then let's 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 Go to the park, man. Of course. Everything hates me now. What a busy day. Fell to bed and quickly went to sleep. I don't know why everything hates me all of a sudden. Like, I'm losing charisma out the ass. Um, I fucking... Like, I don't know, man. It's mid-break. I have the day off today. Let's get a job, man. You, you need... At least this is still working. And watch, it doesn't work now. No, it still works, but... Fucking hell, man. I, I don't know what's up with everything else. It's, it's just fucking me over in the anus. Like, what the hell? Anyways... Uh... Let's oversee practice. Don't you dare. How? Uh, oh my god. I don't know what influence is that. Uh, uh, damn it, I hate this. Uh, no, I need $50 in order to get the retry thing. Uh, quickly went to sleep. Yes, lose four stress. Time for school. Blah. Should I eat? You can eat in the classroom because you don't have homework. Yep, you don't have homework. Swimming national championships were upon us. When I first became manager, uh, the swim team's manager, I never imagined we would ever make it to the nationals. All right, we needed a silver here to make it to the galactic championships. Once we did that, then the swim club would have gone from being the, one of the trouble clubs to a galactic championships or a galactic champions. Such a momentous occasion. Alas, my heart pounds with anticipation. I can only hope for the club's performance to. I only. I can only hope the club performs to expectations. Nah, I'm not worried, Sola. You work. You. Yeah, you worked hard all year for this. I'm sure you'll be able to pull it off. You have my gratitude for your reassurance. I shall do my best not to let you down. By the way, Sola, I haven't seen you around lately. Yes! I haven't seen anyone with Chigara. Where have you been? Yes, I had to take a faraway trip to see an old friend recently. However, as you can see, I have returned safely. I can only presume that my uneventful days will now resume. Oh, really? Didn't know. With all that was happening with Asuga, I didn't even notice that Sola had gone on a trip. Exactly. Fear not. Now you have a girlfriend to take care of you now. 
That's true. May your thoughts always be with her. Alas, but the time of our round has arrived. Okay, good luck. Yes, you got this solo. Yeah, 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 you did it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, let's go celebrate at the arcade. Yeah. Anyways, how bad can we go to sleep? Stress, intelligence. I'd rather lose stress. I don't care about the intelligence, really. Anyways, let's go work. So now you have $20, so if you fucking get stupid stress again, at least you'll be able to... Look at this! Why? There we go. Anyways, now in session. Um... Hmm... Anyways, um, I have under one charisma, so that's good. Um, s try to recruit for the science club again. No? Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's try to recruit again, man. Yeah, one shot this time. Club hours are over for today. And let's, can we get for 40? Will we go three for three? No? Nope, no three for threes. Shit. Anyways, fast fitness, fitness. I don't care about my fitness. Fuck the fitness. So I still have my luck, which is fucking good. As usually, that thing goes down fast as hell. Do your homework, Kato. It's already week five. Yeah, we're blowing through this month. So we'll just finish this month. I think we do like a month an episode. I don't know. Anyways, um... Maybe la next episode will be the last one because there'll be two months left, so maybe we'll one shot it'll be a long episode. Oh no, because the second day of this month will be the end of graduation, and I don't think there's gonna be anything for these extra days. I think they're just there because it's a calendar. So, next episode will probably be the last of the Asaga route, I think. Maybe. We'll just have to wait and see, but you never know. It seems like it might be. Anyways, let's try to recruit again. No? No. Damn. My stress is already at 19. Well, fucking hell, that's nice. Anyways, pray. Ah, of course. Donation of five credits. There we go. Uh, what a busy day. Went to sleep. Blah. I don't have enough money to get the thing anymore. But I guess it doesn't matter that much. Anyways, it's time for school. Intelligence. Uh, okay, where should I eat? You gotta do your homework, man. Do that. Some intelligence, trust. Um, I am going to say try to get that member. You can do it. I believe in you. No. No. Damn. Anyways, just just wait. My stress is at 25. Let me not do that. Science center. Let's get a job. There you go. Busy day. Went to sleep. Lost four stress, so I won't get sick. I don't know what, I think it might need to be over 20 stress to get sick. I actually don't know how long you till is. Because if I remember correctly, I got sick when I was like over 20. But I don't know, man. Uh, it's... I mean, I have the money to get medicine, but at the same time, it's going to take days because I have to stay home to get better too. So, I kind of don't want to do that. Anyways, fuck no. That didn't work. Today was Chigar's birthday. Yo, Chigara! Happy birthday! Asuka ran up to Chigara and rubbed her face into Chigara's bosom. I got this for you! Asuka handed Chigara a strange glowing mineral. Chigara star stared at it intently. Ooh! I found it when I was hiking in the mountains. What do you think? You suppose it's an ancient technology? There's only one way to find out. I'll investigate right away! You're giving Chigara a weird rock you found in the mountains? Seriously, Asuka? Uh, she was as random as ever. It didn't look like Chigara minded. Uh, uh, Chigara, it didn't look like Chigara minded on. Didn't minded on. Oh uh, yeah, I, I I thought it looked weird. It didn't look like Chigara minded on bit though. One bit, though. <laughs> That's why. I was like, am I fucking up this bad? But no. When was Ava's birthday? It was month six. And we left off at month three. That's when the roots started. Month four was when the roots started? I don't remember. But yeah, so... 
We can get Ava's birthday on a different run. Or uh, maybe on her run, or I'll just probably remember when we start Chigara's run. Anyways, I guess it was my turn. Happy birthday, Chigara. Here you go. I handed Chigara my present. Uh, thank you, Mr. Manager. They look very cute. I'll make good use of them. No problem. That's time. Yeah. Or should I eat? You can eat in the classroom because you did your homework like a good student. Anyways. Um. Let's try to get science readiness up to. Yep, there we go. We did it. And then let's try to get the pool's readiness to. Yeah, I was expecting that. No, I wasn't expecting the second time. Anyways, well, I went to sleep. I don't know what's up with the pool. It just doesn't get ready as fast as it used to. Oh, I, 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 I meant to stop, but. What, what, wait, what day is it? Oh, fucking hell. We're on the ninth month, so... Yeah, what's that? National Exhibition? We'll go into the National Exhibition, because might as well, because it's, like, right around the corner, so... Like, let's just eat lunch. Oh. What, did I skip some? Oh, my Jesus! Phew. With the culture festival behind me and my girlfriend issues now resolved, it felt as if the rest of the year was going to sail smoothly by. In fact... Could this be the beginning of my bright student life? My term on the student council was coming to a close, and I had a beautiful girlfriend by my side. Huh, I couldn't think of a better way to end the year. From now on, everything was going to be perfect. Or so I thought. Ava rudely interrupted my bliss. Kato, your time's finally come. What? What was Ava saying? It's been a long time coming, but I guess now your moment of glory... Wait, was Ava actually agreeing with me for a change? Prez, I never knew. Of course I always knew. Sorry, next year everything's going to be perfect. Oh, wow. I couldn't believe my ears. So here was my childhood friend who had done nothing but work me to the bone all year, and she was finally seeing to my happiness? Ava, you're finally letting me be happy? Of course! Because starting from next year, you're going to be the president of the Sunrider Academy Student Council. Uh, uh, what? B but my bright love life was finally beginning. Oh, Ava couldn't possibly take this away from me. Not when I had already worked so hard all year. What? <sighs> I sat up on... A desk with a defeated look on my face as Ava pulled up another one of her presentations. <sighs> we still have so much stuff left to fulfill. I'll need someone I can count on to carry on my work. Honestly, your challengers... <sighs> I just can't leave our academy to a guy like him. We'll need to do everything we can to make sure he doesn't win. My, my challenger? Since when was it even decided I was going to take part in the election? Once again, my over-eager childhood friend was deciding everything for me. <sighs> Wasn't this how I ended up being the, her vice president too? Come to think of it, I became the club manager in pretty much the identical manner. Wait, 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 Ava. I haven't even said anything about running in the election. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Who else can I trust to take my place after I graduate? Y yeah, but Prez... I finally have a girlfriend now! I need free time to make her happy! You know, go on dates, old hands, trips and stuff. You know, the happy couple routine. Forget it. You've got more important stuff to do. God damn it, Ava! <laughs> At this rate, she was definitely going to be single for the rest of her life. No way. <sighs> Ava crossed her arms and looked at me silently. Or sternly. And, you know, I think we'll actually stop here. I know it's a weird place to stop, but I think this is good enough. We'll stop right here, and we'll continue in the next episode, which will probably be the final episode of the Asuga route. So I hope you're all prepared. And if you like this, hit the thumbs up button and save it to your favorites. Also, share it with your friends. This has been Jay. You can follow me on Twitter, also on Demi. Thank you all for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.